Hello everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech, your go-to channel for all things tech. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn off in-app purchases on your iPhone. This is an important feature, especially if you want to prevent unauthorized purchases like those pesky accidental buys kids can sometimes make. Let's dive right into it. First, let's understand what in-app purchases are. In-app purchases are essentially the ability to pay extra for additional features within an app. This could range from unlocking new levels in a game to getting rid of ads in a free app. While these purchases can enhance your app experience, they can also lead to unexpected charges if not monitored closely. Now let's get into the steps to turn off in-app purchases. The first thing you need to do is open the settings app on your iPhone. This is the app with the gear icon that you're probably quite familiar with. Once you're in settings, scroll down um, until you find an option called screen time. Tap on that. If you haven't already enabled screen time, you'll need to turn it on. Screen time is a great tool that allows you to manage your device usage and set restrictions. After enabling screen time, you'll see an option called content and privacy restrictions. Tap on this to continue. You'll need to select iTunes and App Store purchases. And this is where you'll control what can and can't be bought on your iPhone. At this point, you will be prompted to enter a unique password for screen time settings. This password ensures that only you can make changes to these restrictions. Once you've set your password, tap on in-app purchases. You will see an option to don't allow. Select this option to disable in-app purchases. This ensures that no one can make in-app purchases on your device without entering the password you set earlier and that's it. With these steps, you've successfully turned off in-app purchases on your iPhone. If you ever need to re-enable in-app purchases, you can simply go back to the same settings and turn off the restriction. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Fox Tech. I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. See you guys later.